Hi, I'm Paul Tursley and this is a demo of PT Layer Markers. Uh, this script's got a number of different functions uh, relating to layer markers, but the main reason I created it was to aid in comp navigation by uh, making it possible to jump between edits in a uh, jump along through edits in a long timeline. So um, to install the script, you want to take the um, downloaded script and install it in Artifacts Scripts script UI panels. I've already got a copy in there. And then uh, when you restart After Effects, you'll be able to select it from the window menu. And it's got a dockable UI, so you can drop it in your interface wherever you like. Um, so the first function I'm going to show you is the split layers at markers, which um, this incorporates the functionality of an older script I wrote uh, called split layers at markers. And um, what this basically does is I've, I've created a um, solid layer here with some layer markers on it and um, if I hit apply it will split that layer into lots of different layers at the uh, where there were layer markers so uh, that's it pretty simple and you can choose whether the uh, split layers are created upwards or downwards uh, or if they have uh, layer markers added to them or not so that's uh, pretty simple but that's what uh, that's what that feature does um, then the main function which is add markers at cuts um, I wrote this while I was working on a, a series of 14 minute episodes which um, had lots of visual effect shots and we were importing edits from Avid uh, using uh, Automatic Duck's uh, AE uh, import and um, we were ending up with like 200 uh, shots per episode and um, I, I needed some way to help navigate along the timeline uh, but I think this would be useful in uh, much less extreme cases so uh, I've, I've got here a little mock-up just if you imagine each of these different colours is like a different type of shot and um, so uh, actually we tended to get them so they were um, so the individual the different types of shots were on separate tracks in Avid so if I just uh, select all of one type of layers pre-compose it into a comp called red let's do the same with uh, blue and uh, green So I could might typically have this kind of thing, where I've got lots of different shots, and uh, but all of the one particular type of shot is in one composition. So um, I made this to, to make it easier to jump through these uh, shots. So let's give you an example of this. If I just with the default settings add markers at cut based on layering points, add to new solid layer. So I hit apply, and it's added a new solid layer, and it's put layer markers at the endpoints of all the layers in the comp and so what this means is I can use the J and K keys to jump through all these shots and we've got a variety of options here we've got um, so in points out points in and out points so you can see the first and last frame of each shot and um, in and out plus one points which would show you the first frame of the shot and the frame after each shot so then uh, as well as adding it to a new solid layer you have the option to add it to selected layers so if I select those layers then you can see then the um, layer markers are added to them and uh, one final option is uh, nested layers so uh, this composition is nested into this main composition so if I with this option if I hit apply you can see it says six markers were added but where are they added they're added in this comp so they're added at the endpoints of the layers in this comp but they're added to the comp it's nested in so uh, this in particular is quite useful because I can very rapidly go into each of the comps 
and then I can navigate through all the different shots in the episode uh, using the J and K keys. So, um, or if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to create a solid layer where which had all of all of the cuts on them, we could say a new solid layer, and then copy that. Um, that was red, so that was blue. Sorry, so we go into red, paste that solid, apply to selected layers, then we can build up. The um, the markers on that layer. Oh, which ones have I done now? Um, green. Okay. And then I've created one uh, solid layer that has all the different cuts on it. So that's uh, basically what um, layer markers does. Um, it also works uh, really well with uh, my PT contact sheet script which can be used to uh, take these layer markers and create grids of images uh, out of them um, for storyboards or contact sheets so uh, check out that script as well but uh, that's it for this tutorial so uh, I hope you find the script useful thanks <laughs>